Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany and I make homeschool videos with my two daughters. I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old. And in today's video, I am going to be going over the little toddler binder that I made for my two-year-old. So we just started doing some top schooling and a little bit more advanced learning activities with her and I started implementing a learning binder with her. This is something new that I didn't do with my older daughter at all, but I've seen a lot of other homeschool moms start doing it with their young kids and so I thought that I would use one with her. Her name is Samara and she just turned two years old and we've been doing this for a couple of weeks now too. And uh, some of these pages in the binder I made myself and other ones I found from other websites and uh, places that you can get free printables and uh, like teachers pay teachers or even things off of Pinterest and even making things that are is very easy off of uh, like pages if you have uh, Mac or Microsoft Word if you have a Windows computer they're pretty simple to make yourself so if you would like to see what I put in her toddler learning binder then stay tuned Okay, so this is the binder that I put together. I just made this myself on pages and this is just a regular one inch binder that you can find from just about any store, Target, Walmart, anywhere. <laughs> and um, then when you open it up, you see the first page and that is our characters emotions page. And this is one that we do and talk about emotions and what might make you feel those emotions and um, you know we'll point to one that she's feeling that day and I do this with my older daughter too so she gets to see her do it and um, Layla is a little bit better at understanding emotions than Samara is at this time but it's always good practice over here we just have our uppercase letters and we just go through those and we can play games with those like matching magnetic letters and placing them on the same ones or just singing our alphabet song with them so many different things we also have the lowercase letters on here as well and we do the same kind of games like that with those same thing numbers zero through nine on this page and we just do number recognition and matching with little manipulatives and things like that. And then over here we have numbers 10 through 20 and we do the same thing. Now in these pages, we have the days of the week and this is um, also one that I just made on my computer and we sing a days of the week song. And so um, we go Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, around again. I don't know if you um, have ever watched Storybots. They sing a Days of the Week song, and that's the one that we sing. And so we just point to each day of the week and sing the song. And Samara has learned her Days of the Week so fast just by singing that song. <laughs> And we also do one for months of the year. So it really helps if you have a song to memorize your days of the week and your months of the year. Um, but I want to make these look a little bit nicer. I made some different ones um, for one of my friends. She made a toddler binder for her daughter and I helped her with some of the pages. And the ones I made for her looked a lot nicer than the ones I put in Samara's binder. Um, but these are just nice to go through every day or a couple times a week, something like that. And then we have the seasons that we talk about. So we'll talk about how many seasons there are in a year and what is happens in springtime. The flowers bloom and what happens in the summertime. It's hot and it's sunny and we can go to the beach. What happens in fall? The leaves fall off the trees. What happens in wintertime? It's cold and it snows. And we just go over the seasons that way. And then here is a, another page that I just made by myself. 
um, and I laminated it. And then these little Velcro things I just bought off of Amazon. I'll link those in the description below. All of these materials I'll link in the description below for you guys. But um, I just printed out her name and a picture of her so she can recognize that this page is about her. And then she has to take the letters off and then match them under the one up here to make her name. So I'll demonstrate. S goes under the S. The A goes under the A. M goes under the M. A under the A. R under the R. And A goes under the A. And then it matches the one on top, Samara. And she loves this one. This is her probably her favorite page. She always wants to skip through the other pages and hurry and get to her name. <laughs> She loves apples, and I thought this would be fun just for color matching, and so, oh, let me get the little things I have from the back. Hold on. So in the back, I got one of those um, these little pencil holders for your stuff in your binder, and I just have all of the little laminated pieces in plastic bags, and I keep them in there for all of the little activities in the binder. So for this one, I um, printed out a separate page with all of the pieces with the actual name of the color on it and then laminated those on a different sheet and then she has to just match the one with the name to the blank one on the page. And I made that for every single one and she loves doing that. She can't wait to do her apples, she says. <laughs> and then same thing on the other side, we have matching shapes and the shapes are all different colors and so i have the shape printed out with the name of the shape on a different piece of paper and she just has to match it to the right one and she knows it's a triangle and so sometimes i'll give it to her and i'll say triangle find the green triangle and then she'll find it and then once she gets better at it then i'll ask her what it is what shape is this what color is this can you find the one that matches and then she'll find it that way I know that she's learning and I'm not just giving her all the answers all the time. Now this page is a little bit more difficult because there are um, multiple shapes that are the same but they're different colors so she has to recognize that okay it's a circle but there are three different circles which one does it match to? It's a blue circle so it matches here and then they, she just has to do that on all of these and she loves this one too. These are such fun activities for kids. Honestly, she loves every single one of these pages. <laughs> now this one I made myself as well and uh, this one is just discriminating between size and so I'll ask her, where is the big dog? And she'll point to the big dog. Where's the small bus? And she'll point to the small bus. Where's the big cat? Where's the small house? Just so she know, I know, I understand that she knows the difference between big and small and can discriminate between the two. Now, um, this is one that I got off of totschooling.net and I love their website. You guys, they have so many free things on their website for binders like this that kids love. And it comes with all of the little hats that match the colors. I can find one. Here we go. So as you can see, the little hat that matches the penguin and you have to just find the right penguin with the missing hat and put it on. And all you have to do is print these out and I, I stick them in these little plastic sheets. Sometimes it's better than laminating them. Depends on what you like to do. Um, but she loves doing the penguins and their little hats. And you have all these different colors that they can match and my kids love doing that. This one is also from totschooling.net and this is a really fun one because it's ice cream cones. What kids don't love ice cream cones? Seriously. <laughs> but it's just another way to uh, discriminate between different shapes and these ones don't have any colors so it's a little bit harder. They will have a colored piece and they have to find the ice cream cone that it matches. and they have a lot of fun doing this one it's um if i could <laughs> find out where the pentagon goes but they enjoy doing this page as well and then this is just another one that i printed out myself i kind of made on my own from finding different images and things like that but um you just do uh all the different body parts that you want them to be able to recognize so which one is the face which one is the ears where is the hand? And sometimes I'll say, can you point to the hand on the page? Okay, can you show me your hands? 
and you can do so many different things with uh, these pages. Like you don't just have to do one thing with them. You can just play so many different activities. So these are then more pages that I got off of totschooling.net. Oh, the pages are falling over. Um, these are shadows and these are a little bit more difficult for her. And I noticed some of them printed weird. Like this one didn't even print properly. And I'm not sure if that's on totschooling.net, their end of it, or if it's on my printer end of it. But this one is just a lost cause because who's supposed to know what this is? It's just a big blob of a rectangle. <laughs> Um, but, uh, this one, there's farm animals and then it comes with the little pieces for the farm animals. Let me get them. So you have the little piece and you have to match it to the silhouette like that. And so they really, it, it makes them pay attention and really study something more. And, uh, they have fun with it because they love animals. Samara, she is like an animal lover. So there's farm animals and this one is circus animals. And then there's pet shop animals over here and forest animals. So these are tons of fun and they take a little bit more time, but it's really a lot of fun to talk about each animal as they're putting them on the page. What sound does that animal make? And where would you find that animal? In the forest or in the zoo? And so they have a lot of fun doing those kinds of things. Samara, she's a big animal lover. Now, this is another one that I printed off of totschooling.net and it's the world map and you just have the continents and you match them to each one like that, as you can see. This is a little bit harder for Samara to do, but she's getting better at it and uh, Layla helps her. So it's like a joint team effort that they get to do and we talk about the different continents and um, you know, what continent are we from? And uh, yeah, so it's a fun little geography lesson there. Um, now, this is another one from totschooling.net and it's just leaves. And since it's fall, the girls are loving uh, all the leaves outside right now. So they have to find the leaves that match the silhouette. So these are a little bit more challenging because um, some of the leaves look similar. Like this one, hmm, could it go here or could it go here? They really have to pay attention. Uh, that one goes there and it's fun since it's fall time they really like to study the leaves and this one hmm there's a few that have those branched off leaves which one does it match that one right there so Layla especially loves helping Samara with this one too and that's something that I like about these is that if Samara doesn't always get it Layla is so eager to help her and then the next page is high spy zoo animals and i'm not sure where i found this one i think it might have been somewhere off of pinterest i know it was a free printable though but um samara she's not the best at writing numbers right now she is learning about recognizing numbers but um she likes to circle them so i'll say okay can you circle all of the zebras and she'll try to circle all of the zebras can you circle all of the elephants and she'll circle them all or we can count them together there's one, two, three, four, five, six zebras. And then I'll write the number six right there for her. So anything that has to do with animals, she's a huge fan of. And um, this is a great activity to have in your kid's binder. These are just some animal pictures that I have back here because she is such an animal lover. She, she likes to know um, a lot about animals. And so these are just like adult and baby animals. So I thought that was really cute. Like we have a, a dog and a puppy cat and a kitten, cow, calf, horse, full. And I believe I got these off of this reading mama, maybe. I'll have to do some research and I'll, I'll link it down below when I find it. But we really use these more like flashcards just to talk about the animals and the different baby animals and go through those every once in a while. And she enjoys that a lot. So there you have it, you guys. That is all I have for going over Samara's toddler learning binder. If you guys found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. What are you guys doing for your two-year-old? Do you have a, any kind of pages that you ha think are must-haves for their binders? Let me know because I'm always looking to beef it up or maybe take some things out that she's not grasping as well and put other things in that might work for her better. And I know tons of other moms are out there looking for more information like that too. So let's help each other out and leave those comments down below 
below. And also, if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon thingy so you can be notified whenever I upload these videos. I am putting out one video a week and if you would like to stay uh, see more, then make sure you're subscribed. And I guess that's all I have to say. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.